What's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Major, and I'm back again here on the Motion Network with some major news. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Like, bam! Oh, my life, man. Oh, my God. So, first of all, I just want to say we appreciate all 63 of you now that are tuning into the Motion Moment of Truth Network. Uh, we also call it Motion Network. And we're going to do that another video. We're going to get on to that while, you know, pretty much break it down. Uh, let you know why we call it the Motion Network. But, until then, that's a whole other topic. So, uh, again, we appreciate y'all 63. We 37 away from our goal. For the end of the year, we're trying to get to 100. So we can do a giveaway. Um, not sure what it's going to be yet. Or maybe I am sure. And I just don't want to tell you. Hey, you got to keep uh, staying tuned to find out. So let's go ahead and get into this major news. Because I am King Major. And I'm giving you the news. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is Monique. So Monique is uh, suing Netflix. It's not allegedly. It's not, you know, maybe. It's not... You know, supposedly, she is so Netflix. She came out on multiple uh, TV shows. She was on The View. She had multiple interviews just saying, hey, you know, I'm suing Netflix. Uh, now, the narrative they're pushing is because it's for pay discrimination. But she's actually suing them for wrongful termination. Um, and this is kind of confusing because in order for you to be wrongly, wrongfully terminated, you had to be hired in the first place. Uh, so it kind of throw some red flags already. Um, and now I found this out because, you know, I looked up the uh, looked up the contract, looked up the, the whole court uh, thing. I can't think of the name right now. But on there, it said wrongfully terminated. Um, so, again, that throws up red flags because that means you have to be employed somehow. Uh, but the whole narrative is, and this, she even said this in a couple of interviews, uh, her pay. And it's, uh, she, she says it's paid towards all black women. I'm going to get to that further further down this list. Uh, she says uh, pay discrimination. I'm looking at my notes. Uh, they offered her 500000 for a special on Netflix. Uh, versus people like Amy Schuler, Schumer, who got $13 million. First, her offer was $11 million. Then they got bumped up to $13 million. Uh, Dave Chappelle, he, you know, got twenty million, and Chris Rock was also also offered, uh, shoot, also offered twenty million. Uh, versus where Monique, she was only offered five hundred thousand. Now, in the entertainment realm, that is not a lot of money. Uh, but I guess they were kind of thinking about how many people she would draw. Uh, because Amy Schumer, they have a crowd. Dave Chappelle has a has a following. He's been had a following since his TV show. Chris Rock definitely has a following. And maybe their following is a little bit bigger than Monique. But I feel like they could at least got offered her in the million somewhere. Uh, it didn't have to be the same. But at least in the mid, Everybody getting the mill now. Like, you know, these trashy rappers getting a mill. You know, just for signing a quick deal. She could have got a mill. But Netflix, you know, they only want to offer her 500000 they went back to the people. She said, you know, come back with a better offer. Uh, they was like, yeah, either take it or leave it. So now she's suing them for that. And she's suing them, like, basis on the, the for, pretty much for women of color. Because Wanda Sykes also got offered uh, 250000 And, like, bro, that's trash. Like, for real, for real, that's trash. Like, come on now, you can offer these women a meal, like... They gonna bring in. They gonna bring in like ten times. You gonna make your money back for sure. Why not give these people what they worth? Um, again, they may not be worth where Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle may be, but they they got they they in the millions. At, at least that's my opinion. But y'all, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think uh, Moni can you know bring a big draw of people to Netflix, or does she have a big enough audience to where she should be getting twenty million or more? So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is Disney Plus. I just spit, excuse me if y'all saw that. Disney Plus came out last week, November 12th. 
and it's uh it actually already has over 10 million people signed up and that's that's dope like and I believe their minimum uh, price is like six ninety nine. I don't have it yet. I'm waiting to steal somebody login info. So if you want to support, drop your login info in the comments. I'll appreciate it. <laughs> or shoot me in my DM on Instagram. Uh, ladies only. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. So they got over 10 million people to sign up. That's ridiculous. That's like... Again, if they their base is like seven dollars, uh, that's over seventy million dollars in the first week. Bam, that's dope. Uh, that's probably not including. Of course, it's not including whatever ads they got, and however however else they getting money from this. That's crazy. And so they got every Disney movie on there that you could ever think of: Lion King, Little Mermaid, all of your childhood movies from Disney. And they have the whole Marvel collection now. The whole Marvel collection is not actually released on there. Uh, it won't be released on there until, I believe, June of 2020. And as you know, some of the Marvel movies are on Netflix. Uh, some of them are on Hulu. So I guess they have to wait till those contracts get up. That's what I believe. Uh, that's what I think. And I'm going to leave it at that. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is Mr. Kanye West. Now, we're going to follow Kanye West. Uh, we're going to follow this journey, see where it goes for like a couple weeks. Uh, so you might hear me talk about Kanye every week. Uh, so this past Sunday, Kanye West performed at Joe Osteen's church. He did his Sunday service thing. And first, uh, the first 45,000 people got in for free. Everybody else had to pay for tickets. And I believe they started boosting tickets up to like three to $500 to get in to the church and to me that's ridiculous because you can't you shouldn't charge people to get into the church like i mean i guess the, i guess they don't call it a church they got to call it something else but that kind of takes away from the non-for-profit don't you think uh if you're charging people to get it that really takes away from the non-for-profit so they probably gonna get audited and that could, i don't know i don't know what kind of penalization they'll get for for charging people because that means they literally made money uh, like they charge people in, I, I don't know how that not for profit stuff go, but that don't seem right. Uh, of course, uh, Kanye West, he didn't, he didn't charge people, but Joe Austin's church did. So, yeah, of, of course, Kanye, you got to make your money. I guess they want to guarantee that they was going to get their money back. Um, uh, but I know the, the actual members of the church was probably pissed. They was like, bro, I'm not about to pay to go to church. Church should be free. Again, I digress. Um, also, to talk about Kanye West, uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant, uh, which was one of the first main publicized churches Kanye West did his Sunday service at, uh, he had some criticism for Mr. West. Uh, he said he was discussing uh, Kanye's music and political choices. Uh, when he says behind the music, behind, you know, his choices for Tr Donald Trump. Now, my thing is, and you can go check that out. I'm not going to repeat everything he said. I'm, You know, this is my opinion. Uh, as a pastor, your job is for people's spiritual growth. Your job is not to entertain people. Your job is not to, to criticize people publicly. Your job is to help people reach salvation. How do you, how, like... What good is criticizing Kanye West publicly going to do for somebody else's soul? Like, again, if he wants to support Trump, we all have our own political right to do what we want to do. Just like we all have our free will if we want to serve God or not. Like, bro. And I feel like if he did have uh, these strong feelings about Kanye, he did feel it in his spirit. As a pastor, I believe that you know, you're supposed to bring that person to the side. Be like, hey, bro, you know, what's up with you supporting Trump? What's up with you? What's up with your music? Talk to them and help them spiritually grow. Not, you know, demoralize them and uh, attack their character in front of uh, millions. Like, bro, that makes people want to step away from church. They see see people like you attacking people for, you know, choosing to, choosing to be different from everybody else. So... I don't know, but y'all let me know what y'all think. 
should Pastor Jamal Bryant be cool with attacking Kanye West? Or am I tripping? So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Again, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the major news on the Moment of Truth Network. I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.